Hello, hello! Are you somebody who enjoys the kill count, but wishes they did more superhero, fantasy, or action movies? Well, that's what I'm here for. This is Body Count, where I find out just how murderous all of our favorite movie characters really are. Today's episode, Kylo Ren. If you've ever wondered how many people Kylo Ren has either knocked out or killed on the big screen, well this is the place for you. Kylo Ren has appeared in three movies, and with the future of Star Wars movies kind of in limbo right now, I thought it would be fun to look back and see just how many bodies this wannabe Sith has piled up through the years. Even though he usually isn't considered very intimidating or deadly, this pretty boy has piled up his fair share of bodies. Now, since this is Star Wars, most alien kills will count for this video. As long as they're not a monster, and they can speak some sort of language and interact with the main characters, they will count. In Star Wars, everybody is people. So, how bloodthirsty is Kylo Ren exactly? Let's get into it. Oh, whoa, wait. I almost forgot my amazing sponsor for this video. I could not be here doing this if it wasn't for this dirty baby diaper. Okay, let's get into it. Kylo Ren first appeared in Star Wars The Force Awakens, and he wastes no time adding his first body to this count. After not getting the information he wants, he pulls out his lightsaber and straight slaughters this old man, only seven and a half minutes into the movie. After freezing his blaster shot, he captures Poe and force tortures him for a bit until he eventually gets the info he wants. Then after allowing Finn and Poe to escape, he learns that he also allowed BB-8 to escape, leading to him letting out a little steam. He goes on to have a conversation with Snoke, then he gets a little pep talk from Grandpa. He kills this guy in Ray's force vision, but because I can't confirm if this really happened, this doesn't count. After that, he's not directly responsible, but he does stand by and watch as billions of people die from the blast of Starkiller Base. That's a no-no. He then travels to the woods of Takodana, where he is introduced to Rey for the first time. He proceeds to freeze her, knock her out, and bring her back to his ship. His next scene brings no kills or knockouts, but he is killing that Sith outfit. Mmm, -hmm. look at that sexy man. He fails at getting information from Rey, so he gets berated by his dark side daddy. He is then reunited with his real daddy, and just when he is about to do the right thing, he stabs Han Solo through the chest for his second kill of the movie. Bye bye! Big Hairy Man doesn't like that, so he shoots Kylo in the side. But that doesn't stop him from knocking Rey out again and having a spectacular, lengthy, heart pounding duel with Finn. Oh, it only lasts 47 seconds? Okay. He slices Finn in the back, and then commences his first duel with Rey. Even though he puts up a fight, he is no match for her almighty natural power. Now, I know you were injured and Rey is basically the chosen one, but come on man, I really expected more. Do better. And as far as this count is concerned, he does do better in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Ah. Uh... Don't you just love when the main villain of your movie is berated and ridiculed in their first scene of the film? After making a move at Snoke, Kylo gets bitch slapped, then he gets angry. He then hops in his ship to let off a little steam. There are dozens of people in these hallways and hangar bays, but I can only count the people that I visually see get blown up. I can't tell if this hurt or killed anyone, but on Kylo's next shot, I count 14 people that he kills. And he doesn't have the cojones to shoot these people, so somebody else does it for him. He goes on to force Skype Ray a couple times, then we see him in a flashback collapse this roof onto Grumpy Luke's head. And he apparently kills a bunch of Luke's students and burns down this temple, but we didn't see any of that and there aren't any bodies, so I have nothing to count here. The next time we catch up with Kylo, he is looking hot, hot, hot! He then tries to touch Ray's hand, but Grumpy doesn't like that very much. He and Rey say, screw you, Grumpy. We're hanging out anyway. And after Sith Daddy Snoke asks Kylo to kill Rey, 
he instead ignites Ray's lightsaber and cuts Snoke in half. All right, fight scene. Let's add some more kills to this list. I can't really tell what happens here, but I think he smacks this guy's knife into this other guy. He falls limp, so I'm counting it. He throws this guy, then gets a nice stab to the chest on this one. He follows that up by slicing this guy's head in half. He slices this guy in the chest, then leaves his lightsaber stuck in this guy's face. And then he finishes the scene with his coolest kill yet. Through the face! He and Rey then play tug of war with Anakin's lightsaber, eventually splitting it in half. He then wakes up and travels down to Crate to finally put an end to the resistance. He instead gets really angry and then really embarrassed by Grumpy Luke. Stupid. Idiot. Moron. At the end of the movie, he is left just like the end of last movie. Defeated and alone. So, let's see what he does about that in his final appearance in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, he starts this movie off slaughtering some folks. Not only that, but we get some slow motion slaughtering. He gets three right here. Another. He hits this guy with a lightsaber rock bottom. And then he gives this one a hee hee stab. He gives this guy the old pull and slice. And he ends the scene just being unnecessarily rude to this man. He finds a special triangle, then meets up with the plot device. After meditating with Grandpa and putting his helmet back together, he walks through a hallway looking really super cool. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? He plops this guy's head down, but it isn't confirmed who cut it off. Then he lifts this guy to the ceiling, but it cuts away and it isn't confirmed if he's knocked out or dies from this. He then shows up in the desert and flies really fast at Rey, and after cutting his wing off, Kylo Ren sadly passes away in the violent wreck. Oh wait, he's fine. He and Rey play tug of war for a second time, and after shooting lightning from her fingers, Kylo craps his pants. After washing and drying his doo-doo soiled undies, he has a multi-location lightsaber fight with Rey. Then he says, girl, you can't knock me down. He then travels to the moon of Kef Beer, breaks the triangle, and has his final duel with Rey. He finally overpowers her and wins, but after hearing Leia's voice, he stops fighting and gets stabbed in the stomach. Kylo Ren sadly passes away from the fatal wound. Oh wait, he's fine. This leads to a conversation in his head with Han Solo. And after Han tells him it's not too late to change, Kylo throws his lightsaber in the ocean and becomes good again. Yay! He then embarks on a 15 minute redemption tour, getting a few kills along the way. He shoots this guy, then this guy. Then he comes face to face with his old buddies. Sadly, without a lightsaber, Kylo Ren is outmatched and passes away in this scene. Nah, he's fine. He makes short work of these guys. He slices two of them with one swing, pushes this guy into a crater. This guy falls dead with a stab wound. He stabs this guy in the gut, then gets a flying stab in the back on the last guy. Then he just throws this guy to the side, so I guess he knocks him out? It's not really clear. After that, he gets some life sucked out of him by Palpatine, gets thrown into a hole, then he ends the movie by giving his life force to Rey and fading away into the force. I'm not sure if this counts as a kill because he does sacrifice himself, but unlike when Black Widow jumped to her death and I counted it, he gives his life force to save someone else. And it's a whole minute before he dies, so it's not clear if he knew he was killing himself or not. He's not straight up killing himself, he's transferring his energy to another location. But if I counted Black Widow's sacrifice as a kill, I must count his as well. It could really go either way on this one. But that's it for Kylo Ren. Some people love him, most people hate him, but there is one thing that we can all come together and agree on. These numbers. In his three appearances, Kylo Ren has totaled 40 kills, and five knockouts. That's about 13.33 kills per movie and about 1.66 knockouts per movie. It may be a little more or a little less depending on how you count that hanger scene and if you count his sacrifice as an actual kill. 
These are the numbers for his individual movies. He had the most kills in The Last Jedi, and the least amount in The Force Awakens. And he had the most knockouts in The Force Awakens, and the least amount in the other two. So, that's it for this one. Those are the numbers. Kylo Ren actually had a nice amount of kills for only being in three movies. But what did you think? Did you think he'd have more? Did you think he'd have less? Do you not care at all about this? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to see which character's body count I do next, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate you watching this video all the way through. And until next time, peace! Hey! If you like this video, and you want to see more of my ridiculous content, check out one of these. Maybe you'll enjoy yourself, or maybe you'll watch it and crap your pants. Click one and let's find out.